Nick, we're a long way from Knox County. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you told me you travel all over the state to chase raccoons, huh? Yeah, we travel uh, about everywhere. I've seen some pictures of this dog, yeah. and uh, th this has been a pretty special dog for you. Yeah. She doesn't know me. She's getting to know me now, isn't she? Oh, uh, she's, she's friends with anybody she meets. What kind of dog you got here? What's your name? Uh, Allie. Allie, okay. She's an American Blue Tick. And now this dog here has actually won some awards, hasn't she? Yeah, she won the Grand American back in 2017. A couple other hunts she's placed real good at. You actually brought some friends with you. You actually yep. are in partners with this dog, right? Yep. You know, that's kind of a good way to do it because to get a dog to this level, to, to win that type of, uh, of award, she's got to be out working quite a bit. You're, yeah. you're not going to go twice a month and get a dog to this level, are you? Yeah, it, it takes everybody, you know, to, to run them in the hunts and everything, keep them where they need to be. I'll cut her right through here. Tell me the perfect coon hunting situation. What, what are you really looking for? Above freezing this time of year. Yeah. Dark night. Low wind probably. Yeah. A lot of times you treat some of your best nights are actually in the summer. I know it's, I mean, a lot of people don't like summer hunting. We got snakes where we actually live, but a lot of times, you know, around cornfields and stuff, just, just actually running dogs, not killing coons, but just running dogs. Yeah. Man, those cornfield hunts are fun, too. Oh, yeah, I bet. The red line right here, that's Allie's track. Shows her down in this holler here off around the point. Uh, little blue arrow, that's us. That'll track us. That way, if we need to walk back out the way we came in or anything, you can always look at it. <laughs> you hear the difference in her uh, track bark there. She'll throw two or three of those, and then she'll kind of roll it over to a little more steady of a chop. And what's that, what's, what's that telling you? Uh, it tells me that she's treed. Okay, yeah. oh, she's treed yeah. right now. How far out is she? Four or five? 462. All right, well, I guess we'll start moving right. that direction, huh? There it's it. You already see the raccoon? Yeah. Coon's right there in that fork. Uh, that's yeah, a good size coon. I can see it sitting right there. I haven't seen his face, but I definitely see the coon. Yeah. There's two of them, I think. Oh, there's two? One right there in the main part of the tree is the big one. <laughs> She's excited. You ready? There we go. That's just a reward. Yeah, that's just that's made her night. She's she's happy. We got a second coon in this tree here, and we really don't want this dog to come back to this tree right now and, and keep continuing to come back to the tree and retree it. So we're gonna cut Allie loose and get her out. But this landowner is seeing a ton of raccoons. He's overrun with raccoons and his turkey population is suffering because of it. So we're gonna cut her loose and get her going and then come back and go ahead and get this one, get this one out too. Here we go. It's all part of your management plan for your property. And that is, you gotta have a good balance of predators, you gotta have a good balance of wildlife, and, and this is a situation where the balance is a little out of whack. Not enough turkeys and way too many raccoons. She's up to the right up here, if this holler. Uh, she's about 180 yards from where we're at right now. So that made it home, didn't it? She on a den tree? Yeah. Right here, it says it, boys. Can you see it? Yeah, it's inside the den. Oh, yeah, sure is. Well, we're going to get the dog mover away. Obviously, this was a success. We, she treated a, a raccoon right here in this tree, but in this situation, you got to just tip your hat to the raccoon and say, well, you made it home. You know, you could take a shot and kill that raccoon, but that's not an ethical shot, and uh, we're not about to do that. We're gonna move on up and uh, set her loose again. Your girlfriend that reached out to us, she has a, a little girl that you take hunting some as well, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she gets to she gets to go with me a lot around the house and stuff, and she's all about it. She she really enjoys it. We can go right out the back door and be in you know some pretty big mountains, and we'll go back there, you know, turkey scouting. She loves hearing gobble, and we'll hunt for sheds. Well, that's the good thing is you know usually if you really don't like to hunt and fish, it's either you've never been exposed to it or you didn't have the right mentor that had the patience with you when you're little. Yep. Because if you, if you get with the right person 
and you get out and you do this, you're gonna like it. I mean, yeah, it, gets, it yeah. gets in your blood, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like she's only about 200 yards right here this way, so she's treed. Let's hope it's not a den. Is she on that soap? Oh, she's on that vine. She's pretty sure of herself. Yeah, it's Kane right there, right? Yep. Right there's Kane. There, there he is. is, boy. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. That was got him, doesn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you what, guys, that dog did a great job tonight. On a really short work night, we come out here and she treated four coons. We ended up getting three. We saw coons on every time she was treated. It wasn't a situation where we never saw coons. So we know that there was not one time she cold trailed. Yes, she done a good job. Kind of bad weather out tonight, a little cold. Makes it rough for a dog. She showed me a lot of game on a little bit of acreage tonight. Yep. So she really did a great job. I know you guys got a haul tonight to get back home. Thanks again for coming out yeah. and uh, making the a quick night to work out and getting quite a few coons treed, so it was fantastic. We appreciate y'all having us up here. We had a great hunt, great time with y'all.